Fastball anywhere from 90 to 94. The slider, arguably his best pitch. That's a ground ball right to Tyler Martin. And on one pitch, one out is recorded. Grounder here to third, snagged by Romano. Across the diamond, it goes, two down. Well hit ball, but lined directly to Tyler Martin. And that's an efficient first inning for Jack Ann. And once again, came inside and missed the zone, so a leadoff walk. He shows bunt, quick throw down to first, and Martin got underneath the tag. Take a look here at that snap throw from Price. You gotta love a catcher that can snap that ball to first base. And I'll tell you what, Tyler Martin had a pretty big lead and he will be called out. Martin swings through strike three and Mercer. Got him. With that slider. Tonight. Has this ever been done in history? That's what I wanna know. I'm about to get uh. I'm about to get Jack Anderson. Look at this shot. It's about to be beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Popped up. Cabell. Couple of steps over to his left. He's underneath it to retire the, the very experienced staff. Cabell chased a slider. Big, big memory in Florida State's memory anyway. Tell you what, this is some start for Taylor Lobus. At the SoCon in doubles and in home runs, and this ball is stroked out to left. Cabell giving chase and catching up to it. One down. Tried to hold up the swing, but those hands came forward. It's another strikeout for Jack Anderson. Ground ball here to short. And on one more pitch, Anderson once again. Yes, certainly so good point there, Aria. Ground ball there. Jackson Green with the base hit to left, the first for either side. Since the Florida State only has 50 games scheduled. Colton Vincent with the gapper. Should be extra bases for Vincent. Jackson Green stays at third, runners in scoring position. And that is the first hit for Colton Vincent in his Florida State career. Here comes the 3-2. Lifted out into right center. Playable in right, but the runner will tag. Jackson Green will come in. Got a double play at second. Sure did. Colton Vincent took off and rounded third with Jackson Green. Didn't go back and step on the bag, and that's how this inning ends. Jackson Green has the opportunity to tag, which he does, and come home. Problem is, Colton Vincent doesn't tag up at second. Grounder here to short. Vince Smith sets his feet, makes a quality throw to first. Popped up toward foul territory. Tyler Martin giving chase at the netting. He's got it. Wow, Jack Anderson with the strikeout, and that's one heck of a response. Mercer had every opportunity to capitalize on a little defensive moment. Tallahassee to take on Florida State. And as Jackson, uh, uh, yeah, as Ryan Romano gets frozen up there by Jackson Kelly. Got him, drop third strike, he'll trot down to first, but the throw in time by Price to retire. It's the right fielder and the center fielder in his career. He's lifted that ball out to right, but Robbie Martin has the glove on it, one down to go. And so some of those teams are going to be dealing with quite a bit of attrition as players like Delano, talented players at that, their quality start for Anderson. And it keeps getting better, another strikeout for Jack. College baseball in their own right. Wow. Oh. Wow. You back where you started. And on the full count, he's run up for the strikeout. Look at Rock. Seven. And Meat said this is the best pitching staff he thinks he's ever had at Florida State. 
Yeah, and the proof is certainly in the pudding, Ari. There's a ground out. He working, works hard, calling the game. I mean, there is an efficiency to this outing that has been remarkable. 30. Grounder here to short. And Smith able to put him away. Six remarkable innings for Jack Anderson. How about a two for two start for Jackson Green here today? Quality at bat and records a base. He hits today two off the bat of Jackson Green. And Tyler Martin was clipped by that one. Multiple runners now aboard for the Seminoles. Grounder up the middle. A chance for two. Mercer's got it. R.J. Yeager, the ever dependable shortstop, got on top. Got him. Went to the conference freshman of the year. And then a whole bunch of preseason, postseason accolades in the SOCON have followed. Martin underneath it, two down. Ball's lifted high and deep, out to left, giving a charge to the wall, and Mishi gives Mercer the lead. Hit that ball out as hard as you can hit it, out over the plate. Ball just kept carrying. Hit off Monument Way out there. With, it was off the J.D. Drew sign. Go ahead and say it, Sean. Broke First up hit, a perfect game. Perfect game in the making. Right off the J.D. Drew sign. Retiring the first 20 batters. That day is done. And now right after that, the catcher, Colin Price, lines a ball to right. And this ball's hit well out to left. That'll drop. Been the story the last two years for Despina. And he'll earn a walk. But he goes down swinging. The super senior, Clayton Kwiatkowski, gets the Seminoles out of trouble. Ground ball up the middle. Robbie Martin leads off the bottom of the seventh for Florida State with a base hit. This ball's driven out towards center field, out to the wall, and Cabell has kabombed it again. The ball was well hit. Got it up in the zone. He tried to take a little off the previous couple pitches before that. But just pure strength and power drove that ball deep center field. Breaking pitch kind of backed up a little bit. He's been snapping him off. Sean, I've never hit many home runs in my day. <laughs> Curtain call for Cabell, and Reese Albert records an opposite field hit into left. Rail here. This ball's driven out towards center, and that'll get by the, the diving center fielder. Wyatt Crowell has been in fine form. He has a triple. Albert comes in to score. It is 3-1 Seminole. Bits and the left-handers like the ball out over the plate. Correll got it up and out and drove it. You see Knight in center field trying to get enough legs under it. Just, just beyond his glove. The pretty good athletes on the field. That ball's lifted out to center. Knight underneath it. Crowell will tag and he will come home. 4-1 Florida State. Two out walk. The 
This is a base hit right up the middle. Vincent getting the wave around third. He will score. It is 5-1 Florida State. Good at bat right there by Tyler Martin, taking a pitch and just staying in with it. Drove it right back up the middle. Spin, as I said, the ball had eyes on it. That one looks. came up and in. And Ryan Romano oh, is clipped in the helmet. We'll never know. And steady lays off the pitch upstairs, walks on four, and Break checked his swing. That got away. Florida State will score again. 6-1 Seminoles. Another hit for Cabell. This one up the middle. This one will plate two. Robbie Martin comes in to score. It is 8-1. Ball's lifted high in the air out toward foul territory. Green's going to hold it. Yep. And a nice play out there in left by Thomas from in the SoCon to be sure. But Knight goes down swinging. Witkowski. Over the plate, go miss, miss up, and he did. Flair is lifted over toward the first base side to Spina. Ranges over to retire the side. Opportunity. Ground ball to third. Romano fires across the diamond, and that will do it.